Hello students, welcome to today's lecture series on AGM 312, Agricultural Mechanization Study Section 3. The title of today's study section is Machine Element, that is Farm Power Transmitting System. Introduction, various works are carried out in and out of the farm, which are agricultural related. Some of them are land clearing, land preparation, plowing, cultivation, harvesting, processing, packaging, and so on. In almost all these variety of works, machines are used to accomplish this task. In the process, the machine is utilized in many ways. Transmission of power in the machines from one rotating shaft to another takes place. You will learn in this study section the different methods of practice, different methods in practice for transmitting power from one rotating shaft to another. Learning outcome for study section 3. On completion of this study section, you should be able to describe power transmission through belt, power transmission through chains, and power transmission through gears. Power transmission through belt. Belts can be used to drive machines. For example, if the source of power is a motor to drive a main shaft, a belt may be used to drive the pulley in the main shaft. The two pulleys are linked with the belt. The first belt is mounted on the shaft of the motor, while the second pulley is mounted on the shaft of the machine to be driven. Thus, the pulley on the motor shaft <coughs> is the driver, while the pulley on the machine shaft is the driven. Two systems of drive are possible for this arrangement. We have the open system and then we have the crossed system. For the open drive system, the driver and the driven revolve in the same direction as shown on the slide, while the driver and the driven rotates in the opposite direction in the case of crossed drive system. It should be noted that the power transmitted by belting devices depend on the strength of the belt and friction between the belt and the pulley. In other words, the grip between the belt and the pulley upon which the driving depends is caused by the friction between the belts and the pulley. Second type of drive system is the cross drive system. As shown on the slide, the speed ratio in cross drive system is the ratio of the two pulley on the shaft of the motor and the machine to be driven. It's given by the ratio of the speed of the driver to the speed of the driven equals to the diameter of the of the driver to the diameter of the driven. I'll take that again. The speed ratio expression for a cross drive system is the speed ratio of the two pulley on the shaft of a motor and the machine to be driven is given by the ratio of the speed of the driver to the speed of the driven equals to the diameter of the driver to the diameter of the driven. V-belt drive. V-belt drive I found useful in situations where the shafts are very close together. For instance, in the development of an individual driving machines or, and the need for short, compact drives. The use of V-belt is favored. V -belt often run on a split pulley which can be adjusted to take up slacks. v belt are made to run in grooves, turn in the pulleys. v belt are greater contacts, have greater contacts area per unit belt width than flat belt. Power transmission through chains. Chains can be used to change the speed of drive. Sprocket wheels are designed to fit each type of chain. Two types of chain commonly used in transmitting power on farm equipment are hook link and roller. The hook link chain can be used in planters, for example, where the power transmission is low and speed is relatively low, slow. The hook links chain are made of either malleable ions or pressed steel. On the other hand, the roller chain is made of a special high grade steel and is used extensively on agricultural machine manure spreaders cutting pickers cutting harvesters and so on 
the chain on sprocket must be kept tension in order for it to work effectively. A typical example of a power transmission through chains is shown on this slide. Power transmission through gears. When motors and power must be transmitted, the speed of the two shafts affected or concerned must be preserved to maintain an exact relationship between them. The use of gears solves the problem since they will overcome the problem of slip and creep arising through bed drive system. Gears are therefore used to increase or decrease the speed and torque of shafts when power is being transmitted. Hence, in clear and simple terms, gear are used for changing shafts direction, for changing speeds and for transmitting powers. Gear. There are three gear. The image on the slide shows a typical gear in mesh. We have P, we have gear P and gear Q. There are three types of gear commonly used. We have the spark gear, we have the bevel gear, and we have the warm gear. The speed ratio of gear, the speed ratio of a gear drive depends on the number of teeth in the gears. The one with the less number of teeth revolves faster. Thank you for listening.